Do not let your hearts be troubled. That's the way that gospel passage begins. It's the start of John chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. What is that all about? You might think, well, it's Mother's Day, and all we heard was Father, 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 Father. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Twelve times Jesus uses that word Father. Four pronoun references as well. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Yeah, but there's a pandemic out there. I might die. Long, long time ago, gosh, I don't remember the circumstances, but I remember my mother taking my hand and showing me this M from all these creases on my hand. And she said, Father so-and-so or Sister so-and-so pointed that out to the kids way back when at Rab's Corners in Ohio. Remember that M. I must die. Well, it's true. The COVID virus may take us, but one way or another, we will pass from this world. But the real reason Jesus starts with that, do not let your hearts be troubled, is what preceded. Chapter 13 begins with the Last Supper and Jesus washing the feet of the disciples and telling them to do the same. And then he goes on to point out that he's going to be betrayed by one of them. He goes on when Peter protests to tell Peter before the cock crows, you're going to deny me three times. That's what prompts those words. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Because he's telling them, I'm going to be leaving you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You know the way. He tells us, I am the way. Okay. But then it goes on. Philip's question, or his request, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. And Jesus, his response seems a little aggressive. I've been with you all this time and you don't know me? Well, it's a great question for every one of us. How well do you know him? How well do you know Jesus? I am certain that you could know the Gospels like the back of your hand, be able to quote them chapter and verse. You could be an expert in the Holy Land, being able to describe every spot that Jesus visited, walked through, and lived in and still not know him. How do you get to know him? Well, you study. You read. Sure. But how do you get to know someone? Knowing about them, well, fine, fine. How do you get to know them? What makes you tick? What's deep down there? You spend time with them. You raise questions, sometimes uncomfortable ones. You listen. And at least in my experience, you better be ready to do a lot of waiting. Get to know him. Oh, I know him. Well, I could say that too. I 
just have scratched the surface. Get to know him more and more deeply. This I know about him. He really is with us always. But he tends to be very, very quiet, unobtrusive. This I know about him. He's always calling, always inviting us, come closer. This is what I know about myself in that regard. Oh, I think I'm close enough. This I know about him. He really likes us. He loves us. And frankly, he's kind of wacky about us. Get to know him better. It is life. It is life for, to the full. He is the way. He is with us always. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs>